Hello everybody, Cope Theorem here. I'm here to show you how to put my product Raid Theorem into your game. Here's how. First you need to get the model in order to put it in your game. So press the catalog button on the Roblox navigation bar and then click models in the browse by category. Down here there's a creators thing, alright? So I'm the creator, I'm the inventor of it. If you get this from anybody else, I'm not guaranteeing it will work. I'm not guaranteeing anything about it. It's not mine. Don't blame me for it. If it's called Raid Theorem, but it's not by Code Theorem, chances are it's probably not going to be the Raid Theorem. It could be. People could copy my model, but it probably isn't. And it probably isn't up to date. So don't get their version unless you specifically asked somebody to make you a customized version of Raid Theorem from my model as the base. All right. Anyway, from here you can type in um, Code Theorem. That's my username. Type in Code Theorem for creators. And now you're going to want to. Now that we're at only my stuff, only Code Theorem stuff, you're going to want to type in Raid Theorem. Search it, and there you go. Currently, it's version 1.0. If the version is different, that's okay. Just means you're getting a more advanced, more uh, fixed, and better version of Raid Theorem. So be happy. The higher that number is, the better for you. Now you'll click Take One. Um, currently, five have been taken. I haven't really told many people. I think I've told two people about this. Um, so five taken is pretty cool. Uh, but you'll take one of this item and you can use it in your game. Let's show you guys how to do that. So you'll open up Roblox Studio. Right now I have an empty base plate, but you could do this in your own game if you wanted to. You could have it in your military base. You could technically even use this in a different type of game, um, but it's not made for that. So don't expect uh, it to be very customizable to you if you're not making it for um, a military groups like Fort or Outpost or something. It was made specifically for raiding purposes. However, once you're there, go to your or er, click this icon here with the two wrenches, the orange wrench and the blue wrench. Click that. It will bring up this toolbox. It might be in a different spot in your window. That's okay. I've personalized Roblox Studio to put it there. Um, and then in inventory, you'll click this drop down and you'll click My Models. First one, if you're doing this in steps and you're do not like putting a delay in between and game more models, first one will be Raid Theorem. However, if you're not sure. Hover your mouse over it, and soon enough, um, a tooltip will come up saying Raid Theorem ver V version number here. You'll click this. What this will do, and okay, <laughs> it inserted a uh, surface GUI that, okay, whatever. That won't, I think that's Roblox's issue right now. I think they're it's a new feature and they're probably dealing with a few issues from it anyway so you'll get this console and you'll also if we go up to the Explorer you'll also get this Raid Theorem main script now this Raid Theorem main script has a bunch of stuff to it that I will be making tutorials about for each and every little thing that you can use and that you should be touching um, there are some things you shouldn't touch so if there's not a tutorial on what it means and how to use it don't touch it because it might be vital okay Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to put this console wherever the heck you want it, in your base, maybe just out in the open, anywhere you want it, put the console there. And by the way, if you're making a customized um, version of Raid Theorem, like you're making your own Raid system, but you still want to be able to use Raid Theorem, don't worry, you can do that and you don't need this console. Um, if you want to do that, I'm going to make a tutorial on this, but if you want to do that, um, you'll want to check off there's this variable inside Raid Theorem main script. Change this value. Use default Raid system. Make sure this box here under value is not checked. If it's not checked, that means you're good to go and you can continue on um, and you make your own Raid system. If you, that is checked, it's going to pretty much expect there to be a console. Okay? You don't want that. Anyway, so you're going to take this Raid Theorem main script and everything that's inside of it and you're just going to drag it down to this server script service right here okay so now you've put in the model you've placed your console wherever the heck you wanted it to go you've moved the script into the server script service 
But there's still one more thing you need to do. What? I've already put your model in. What could I need to do? You need to put HTTP service in. HTTP service is the service that Roblox has made for scripters to use to communicate with servers. Raid Theorem is using HTTP service as like its main thing. So you need to do this. How do you insert HTTP service? How do you insert a service at all? Um, well, you click this button up here in the toolbar. It reads insert and you're going to click service. In here, a uh, nice pop-up menu will show up with all the different services you can insert and you're going to click HTTP service. It might not be in the same spot it is right now, but just look through for HTTP service like that. Double click it and now you'll see down here at the very bottom, might be differently placed, but it should be at the bottom, you're going to see HTTP service. Do not change the name. If you change the name, my script's not going to work. But you do need to click on this and change one value, one property of it. There's this thing called HTTP enabled. If this is not checked, that means I can't, my script will not work. My script will not be allowed to com communicate with my server. That is necessary if this script is going to work. So please insert HTTP service and then go to HTTP enabled and press on the checkbox. Make sure it is checked and then click off. There you go. Raid Theorem is now ready and set up and you are good to go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Um, please, if you aren't exactly using Raid Theorem yet, check out the website. It's http www.raidtheorem.com. Check it out. It's a pretty cool product. I've got a lot of stuff on there. I've got a lot of stuff I'm planning on making as time goes on. And hopefully you guys check it out and you're like, hey, my group could use this. Or if it's not for a military group, hey, my place could use this. That's perfectly fine. I would love um, for people to start using this. It's a great product and it's going to reshape rating on Roblox. All right, so thank you guys again for watching. This has been Code Theorem making a video on my product, Raid Theorem, and how you put it in your game. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment below. I read everything I possibly can. So if you've got an idea for Raid Theorem, post it below. Or anything else, just post it below. Remember again, leave a like in this video and subscribe to Code Theorem Roblox on YouTube and also Code Theorem where I have other similar tutorial videos. All right. Again, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys later.